Hi, welcome to Barbara's Bits. I'm Barbara Venezia, and this week I talked with Niberto Santana Jr. about his new political website, voiceofoc.org. So who's reading the site, Niberto? Our average reader uh, is just like one of the few publications that I, or one of the first publications that I began with Congressional Quarterly. It's a specialized user of government information. Primarily, you're talking about elected officials, their staffs, uh, uh, lobbyists, government relations consultants, businesses, a whole host of people who have a very specific interest in knowing real-time intelligence on what government is doing. So it's a non-profit website for the news, for political news, basically. So is Norberto expecting it to be so cool that people are just going to send him money? Uh, essentially, it's a bit simplistic, but uh, you know, essentially, it, the idea there is to provide, just like PBS and NPR have existed for an uh, incredibly long period of time, uh, is to provide both the general public with a, uh, uh, a product that they can use, and then again, specific government users who would have to spend themselves much more than a small subscription to our uh, or small donation to our nonprofit. When you think about government, you have to think about special interests. So, wouldn't it be better for Niberto to just sell advertising? Well, not necessarily. Uh, the problem with advertising is that advertising still brings up uh, similar types of, uh, uh, of conflict issues. Uh, you still uh, the problem with advertising, at least we've seen with the number of non uh, non. Uh, online publications is that the advertising still doesn't generate enough to finance an operation. I think in this sense we're much better off with acknowledging the fact that this is a community service and that just as people reach into their pockets for NPR uh, and PBS they'll do the same for us and granted our budget is very very small compared to an NPR or a PBS operation. Okay so just like PBS are we going to see telethons? I mean, telethons have a lot of fluff to them, and apparently the voice of OC is a no-fluff zone. We'll more than likely see, again, a constant emphasis on identifying who our readers are, and my contention is that in a place like Orange County with three million people, there is a large, actually, community of environmentalists, nonprofits, people, again, who have a very specific need uh, for government information. Uh, what you'll see from us is things like fundraisers that have to do with public policy conferences. So, for example, what is the real truth of uh, public pensions? Uh, how do you fix them? Uh, what's happening with budget cuts across the city? Those are the types of things that will connect to do our fundraising. But in the, in the end, as you said, there is no fluff. Uh, we're very, very focused on what is the product that we offer. Well, it's obvious that Noberto has a great passion for politics and for this website. I've checked into it almost daily, and it's got some riveting stories, so we'll be watching. Until next time, I'm Barbara Venezia, and thanks for watching Barbara's Bits.